Welcome to the British Curry Awards in Battersea, London. I'm Tamana Mir and I'm here with VOD Talk and it's going to be a really wonderful evening. There's going to be a lot of celebrities, guests, winners and lots of entertainment and food. We are going to be paying tribute to the founder of the British Curry Awards, Enam Ali, MBE, who is a real pillar of this community and this hospitality industry. Join me as we go and have some really interesting conversations with all the guests. How do you find the British Curry Awards today? British Curry Award is a legend, you know. It was created by our legendary entrepreneur and very enterprising ingenious called Mr. Emma Enamali MB. He's like a brother to me and I miss him terribly. And I think his loss is a great loss, kind of an irreplaceable loss for our curry industry. Uh, Mr. Enamali not only branded uh, British or Asian curry or Bangladeshi curry to the mainstream British culinary sector but also to the media. It's more like an Oscar of curry. So, um, you know, today he's not here. Uh, I pray to the Almighty that he may rest, rest in peace and, uh, you know, uh, but at the same time I feel very inspired that his um, children is carrying forward the legacy of this award and I wish them all the best of luck and I hope that Mr. Enamali's enterprise, charity, philanthropy, everything is emulated by young British Bangladeshis. He's such a great you know, role model and um, today you know uh, this charity I saw raising hundred thousand pounds in one night so all this money will go for good cause so all the best of luck to British Curry Award. Thank you very much and thank you thank for you. supporting the Bangladesh uh, catering industry always, always at every always, event that's and it's our really backbone and we are very proud of the catering industry. This is the first year we are without my father and I'm sure for everyone here his warm and mighty presence is sorely missed most especially this evening so how are we to celebrate tonight despite feeling this way? There are a few things we can be certain about in life, but one thing I'm certain of is he would have loved that his legacy lives on through these awards and our amazing curry industry. <laughs> Me and my family are eternally grateful to everyone for all of your kind words of support earlier this year when he sat and passed. I'm here with the director of the British Curry Awards in Battersea, London. Uh, how are you finding this today? Really good. I think obviously it's um, been very difficult without my father at, here at the event. You know, he's um, he's a life force of this event, a life force of the industry, in my opinion. So, not having him here has been felt definitely within the family and uh, definitely throughout the room today I, I can tell um, but you know we we push forward I think we're trying to live up to the legacy that he's left behind and we know that this is one of his wishes that he wanted us to continue his hard work um, and we're trying to do that I think we're very blessed alhamdulillah we've had people come from all across all across the world actually um, and waves of support from our community uh, to come and give support to this event and the people who participate so we're very very fortunate alhamdulillah um, and it's not in just that we try to bring some new initiatives this year so we have the diners choice award which has been a great success so far we've had i think we're not even halfway through the event we're already close to a hundred thousand public votes so uh, alhamdulillah we're very very blessed and the restaurants themselves uh, we're, every year we're just uh, astounded by the quality and the standard that keeps continues to rise and rise. And I'm hopeful that more of the people at home watching today will be inspired to come and join the industry. No, I'm, I'm sure your dad would be really, really proud of you. Everyone we've spoken to today has been giving us really well wishes for your family and your dad. And everyone misses him very much. So, you know, we really wish you the best of luck and I hope you continue many many more great events in honor of your father at this point ladies and gentlemen would you please all be outstanding please stand up if you would for a minute's silence in tribute to Ina. please stand up now if you would thank you very much there will now be a minute's silence A very overwhelmed and also really proud that my dad was able to touch so many people's lives and for people to come out of their way from all across the world and all across the UK 
and just pay their respects and support us, whatever way that is. It's, it, my dad actually, before he passed away, he did actually say we have to continue his work and he started a lot of the work already. So it was definitely something that we thought, no, we have to do it. And I'm glad we did, despite the emotions behind it, but we got there and I'm really proud and I hope everyone will be proud of us and appreciate what we've done. I'm here with the, the lady that needs no introduction, Nina Wadia. How are you? Oh my God, you're I here. I'm really good. I'm very, very excited to be here. It's my first time at the Curry Awards and just genuinely excited to be here. Yeah. And what brings you here of all places? Well, actually, I'm here with the Pink Ribbon Foundation. I'm supporting them. They're a breast cancer charity and they've got a table here. So they asked me along. So I feel very privileged. Oh, lovely. And why is it really important for you to support awards like this? <laughs> Hugely important. A, culturally, it's it's incredibly important to support everybody who works. I can see there's so much work going on behind the scenes as well. And also being part of a charity, it's nice to be here and, and celebrate in a special way. Okay, brilliant. And um, what do you look forward to in this event? Oh, well, the food apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that more than anything else. So yeah, yeah. very much so. And what do you say to the next generation of people like yourself that want to get into this industry? I would say persevere. Now is the time for Asians to get into the movies. Do it. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much no for chatting with me. Thank you. To thank Justine Alley for continuing the proud tradition of these awards. And I want to thank all of you for everything you do to fill our high streets and our homes with some of them. I'm very, very sad because Inam has been a friend of mine for over 30 years and um, as you know probably I have cancer and Inam was very, very, he didn't tell anybody, nobody knew and he's been very kind to me and I want this to be a huge tribute uh, to one of the nicest men I ever knew and I, I need to tell you that I'm on this new treatment and it makes me really emotional and because I'm known as a kind of rudest, hardest hitting, I have to be very careful. So if I burst into tears, I apologize. But Enam probably, and I want to make a point, Enam probably did more for diversity within this country than all this diversity training and all the other stuff people talk about. Enam did it, and it, it, it's done a lot of good. Bigger and bigger and better and better, and, uh, and I think it will it's, be sorely missed. But. And it's in very capable hands with Justine. Yeah. I mean, she's been doing such a great job for such a long time. Yeah. So it's going to be nice to celebrate their father tonight and just, uh, I think, remember him and all the great things that he's done. This this event really is a testimony to his legacy uh, and, and the footprint that he's left on the British Career Awards. It's incredible. I'm here with the lovely Charlie Mullins. Tell us, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing my best, my best suit, diamond shirt and all that. I've never been to the Curry Awards before and I'm told it's amazing. So I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully going to give out a prize for the best curry. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully it's a great evening. I'm yeah. told it's an amazing place and an amazing event. So very excited. Well, it's a great occasion, but one that's a very sad occasion as well. We'll miss Inam enormously this year. But it's a real tribute to Geoffrey and Justine and the family that have actually kept the flag flying. We've got another fabulous event tonight, and I'm sure it's going to be a great celebration of the curry industry. I'm here with the great and amazing Nikita from the BBC Asian Network. How are you doing today? I'm really good, thank you. I'm hungry, though. I want to get in there and eat some food. <laughs> what, is, what food are you looking forward to? Just everything. I would just like to try it all. I'm, I'm, like I said, I love my desi food, so I've been saying that. 
and honestly anything that's like home cooked food I'm there for it yeah and why are you supporting this event today no I just think it's a great event everyone getting together the community supporting everybody supporting you know the British curry houses as well it's very important it's a big big industry so no it's great to be here have you got a favourite restaurant and food oh I couldn't possibly say you know what recently though I did go to Akbar's in Birmingham and it was really good and the naan was like bigger than my head so yeah, yeah definitely up there and any final words for this interview today I just think I hope everyone has a great night eat lots of food and um, yeah just keep eating curry I'm here with Linius Ali and I'm Ali's brother how are you finding the event today amazing I mean look it's, look at the, the whole place yeah. it's buzzing completely um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, we're very, very pleased uh, with the outcome. I mean, uh, my niece, nephew, what they've done, you know, uh, and we'll continue doing what we've done for the past 18 years. Yeah. And what's it like for you not having your brother here at this very important event? I, 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 don't, I haven't accepted that he's gone. I still feel that he's here. Um, it's very emotional if you think about him. It's just, you're not used to it. Um, cause every year you come here, uh, and he's here and he's telling us do this do that and this year it's just it's a big you know i, I can't explain to you um you know and as i said i haven't accepted that he's gone i don't know how long it's gonna take maybe never but yeah well we really wish you the best of luck and i really are deep console condolences to you and your family and again congratulations on a bittersweet moment of an event and i thank really hope so it goes much. well thank you so much much appreciated thank you renowned MSP for Sul Chowdhury, how are you today? How are you enjoying the event? Um, I'm really happy I'm here. Uh, I'm really enjoying the event and I, I think it's fantastic and uh, what the Justin and uh, the, in, the kids have done is fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Anambai uh, would be really proud of, uh, pr proud of uh, his children but what's really uh, missing from today is that uh, we are all here, Anambai is not here. I, I remember going back years ago uh, when we started Dain Bangladeshi campaign with Anambai by then we started Guild of Bangladeshi Restorators. I've seen how British uh, Curry Award grow and uh, now uh, because of the hard work of Anna Malibai, uh, British Curry Award is in a league on its own and uh, you can see it today, uh, you know, how uh, his, his kids are holding it on and I'm, I, I, would, I would like to wish them all the very best for the future and I'm sure they will do well. And you gave an award today, did you? Yes. Oh, uh, tell me about that. I uh, I was told to give an award for best in Scotland, which I had nothing to do with. Uh, I haven't been to the restaurant. I will definitely go. But what this sort of awards does is encourages people. At the moment, every restaurant or every catering industry uh, or every businesses are going through a very difficult time. This is where you need people like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Obviously, Anamali Bai started this, but British Curry Award to promote businesses and uh, support and encourage businesses. Great. So, uh, good luck, uh, obviously, uh, to the winners and uh, congratulations. I mean, not good luck, but congratulations to the winners. No, thank you for your support always to the British curry industry. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with the lovely, gracious, wonderful Nadia Ali, presenter <laughs> of the BBC Asian Network. How are you today? Really good, thank you so much. Really, really good. What are you wearing today? Tell me. So I'm wearing something that I actually picked out from Bangladesh. I just oh. got back from my trip. So I think this is a design. I like it. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. Oh, thank look you. at you. You've got all these celebrities who <laughs> want to take pictures here. Not at all, not at all. So what brings you to the Curry Awards today? Um, I've been coming for the last 10 years, so I'm really oh. excited. And I know this year Nish is performing. Oh. So really Really excited about that. Lovely, yeah. And what, um, what what's your favourite curry? It's got to be a lamb puna. And what's your favourite restaurant? Oh, that's a hard one. Can't say that. Can't say that. No, you it's can't. It's a family one, is it? Well, it's not a family one. I don't actually have a favourite restaurant. I like anything that serves food. Anything. Are you I'm a foodie. What are you looking forward to tonight? Food. Food. Yeah. No, other than food, obviously. Entertainment. <laughs> entertainment. Yeah. Okay. Meeting everyone. Entertainment. Seeing you. Seeing me. So yeah, of all of this. No, it's Absolutely. nice to see you. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so time. much. Thank you. I'm here 
with the wonderful Nish, Bangladeshi's very renowned singer. And uh, you're here today performing, are you? I will be, yes. I'll be performing today, yeah. Are you going to tell us what you're performing? Um, to be fair, there's no secret. It's just like the, the hits, you know, the ones that people like. So I'm, I went with public demand and I went for the songs that uh, generally people find a bit more popular within, within the Bangladeshi community. So, yeah. And what are you doing at the moment? What's your next um, adventure? So currently I'm touring, so I'm going abroad and stuff. I'm going to be off to Dubai in the next couple of weeks for a show. But generally just taking it easy, relaxing a little bit. As you know, I had a few health problems. So just taking it, you know, taking a step back and um, hopefully for the 2023 year, I should be coming back with some new songs. It's going to be back. And what is your, what's going on with your health at the moment? Uh, so currently still on treatment, but you know, Alhamdulillah, better than it was two years ago. So um, those that don't know, uh, two years ago I was dying with chronic myeloid leukemia uh, around this time actually as well 26th of November but uh, Alhamdulillah I can't complain I'm here you know enjoying the curry awards and get to be interviewed by you <laughs> oh, of course uh, what are you looking forward to today then uh, of course the food come on <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the food and I'm enjoying um, you know uh, people that come from a very very um, the, the, the industry that kind of built our community so we need to pay homage and respect to it and generally it's great to see uh, all of the people that have been successful in this industry and uh, hopefully many more industries as well. Well, it's a pleasure to see you and uh, I hope you have a really good night. I'm really looking forward to your song. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. So I'm here with Alex Ali and he is the brother of the late Enam Ali, MBE, who is part of the organising team here at the British Curry Awards. How are you today for a yeah, very important mashallah. event? Yeah, mashallah. It's, uh, it's been a great evening so far. Uh, it's been a journey, um, quite upsetting. Uh, obviously, we are missing our brother so much. Um, he's, he was been uh, last of 17 years. He's been uh, the carry ward. Uh, literally, we can feel his pain sometimes, yeah. what he goes through. Uh, or the event is uh, very high. I think today we have nearly 1,700 people here, including all the uh, staff. Uh, so quite a large amount of people here. Mm. To organize in that scale, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, what's it, what's it like for you organizing this without him here, you know, what's the experience like as a family team? It is a family team and we've always been, uh, um, been beside my brother actually. Um, he was been teaching us, telling us for the last few years uh, what to do, how to do it. And uh, mashallah, all the community, every single corner of the community, Bengali community especially, they've been helping us so much, I can't thank you know, each and everyone enough. Yeah. So this is my appreciation. I would like to thank everybody who been helping us a lot. Um, organizing this is not easy. Yeah. I mean, we, I can understand what my brother is to go through, the length and the hard work. So, mashallah, um, I think I'll leave it to the people to judge us. Um, uh, how much we've done. And uh, we'll probably find out next few days, <laughs> inshallah. Yeah. I mean, I really wish you a big congratulations to running this event. It must be a really, really hard time for you as a family. And obviously a big congratulations because it takes a lot of strength to pull something like this off. And I can assure you the whole community is behind you and your family in supporting of the British Curry Awards. Uh, inshallah, we'll be carrying out his legacy. Yeah. And uh, I think my brother's touched everybody's heart. And I think greatly our communities are missing him so much as well. And the amount of his work he's done for this community. And inshallah we'll try, we'll try our level best if everybody help us. And we would like to carry on his work and his legacy as well. So this is our family's uh, wish. And uh, that's his kind of uh, big, before he actually passed away, he actually hold my hand and hold my nephew, niece's hand. And he actually, this is his last word to us, said, please carry on my legacy. So it's very emotional, could be emotional journey. I mean, uh, sometimes we forgot, actually, he's not in this world anymore. Yeah. So I, I, I occasion I actually picked the phone up to call him, then realized he's not there. You know, so it's, it's, it's this year is very, very tough to organize in that scale. It is hard for us. It is hard for us. So uh, especially my sister-in-law. My baby, she's not very well. 
I ask everybody to make dua for her, for her recovery. And, uh, you know, everybody's dua we need yeah. to carry on this work. Yeah. No, we will all pray for you and we wish you all the very best luck and we're all very proud of you and your family and Enam Ali as well. And we're really behind you as a community. So continue the good work and all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. To see it celebrated on this level and, the, and also to appreciate the amount of people that work in this industry, it's kind of like the backbone of British economy, isn't it? So the whole thing, and I just love the Curry Awards, it's a great atmosphere. I'm the original sponsor, I think, from, from 2005. And um, Anamali was very close to me. Um, and I've been away for the last three years, but I thought this was the right, right year for me to come back. I'm here with the founder of Channel S, Mr. Mahi Sasa. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. How are you finding this event without Inam Ali Sasa? Well, that's very interesting. I'm missing something, obviously. I mean, Miss Kora, but the event went itself very well. As, we, as I always say, it's all Bangali Oscar, Asian Manasur Oscar. Kari Award was a shop to the Wood Nutu Kari Award. One good thing Anamali has taught us many years ago, 18 years ago when he started, I have witnessed this. And I, mean, I always say to people, the Anam Bai Amrare, Bautai Findaya, Shada Shat Findaya, Kunu Jagat Dukar, Shikai Sintai. He is the one who teaches us. The Ashule, Ekhun, Dekha Jai Jatain Nai, Tan Bachara, Tan Legacy Doria Rakbo, but Atske program kono lo kumur bol thodi hoyi sena alhamdulillah je time sarao amra manage kortam parse at the same time ami moni kori community manush agway aur dorkar and they should all support this because this is something started not only 18 years ago I know Anam Bai for nearly 30 years when I first came to England I had a chance to meet him and he's a great man and he always had a vision for the Curry Award and that's what he's done. I'm here with the lovely CEO from NTV, Sabrina Hussain. How are you today? Very much happy to see everyone. It's always a beautiful event. Uh, everyone loves coming to British Curry Awards, so yeah, it's very good. And what brings you to this event today? The love for curry industry and Enambai and his family. I know Enambai is not here, but uh, he's missed everywhere. And he left a legacy for the whole community to cherish all our life. Um, a tribute to Enam Ali Baisab. I've known him for the past 30 odd years, you know, since childhood, maybe longer actually. And this is one of the dates in the calendar. If you're a caterer or in hospitality, you must attend. And so I'm here today in support of the British Curry Awards. Enam Ali is one of my great mentors and I supported him and he supported me and I need to support and this year I have to support more even because he is not gone and his children and I have to support them and, uh, and the way he, he pulled me up actually he brought me into limelight. I feel good and a bit sad uh, to be honest because uh, you know we've lost our dear friend Enam Ali who is such a, a delightful man, lovely man and uh, a great father, a great husband, and a great friend. I come every year. This is one of my favourite nights of the year. I am so happy to be here. It's so glamorous. the lovely Rita Begum who is the councillor and he's, she's here today at the British Curry Awards. What brings you here today? 
This is the Oscar of our community. I can never miss it. Enambai has created such an ev amazing event and it has it brings everyone together. It's such a fab event. It's the best one anyone can produce. So I'm, I'm so honored to be here, being part of it, to enjoy the glamorous night with all the awards and nominees of the award winners and seeing all the fab friends as well and networking. It's, it's a great event to attend and I can never miss it. I always look forward to every year attending it. I'm here with the wonderful Smash Bengali. I bumped into him at another event. How are you today? Assalamu alaikum, bot talk. I'm here, I'm ready to get my, uh, I'm really hungry, you know. I came absolutely starved. You know, when you come to like a food event like this, you have to make sure you come on an empty stomach because the food's going to be banging. Yes, it is. Yeah. So why are you actually here today? What, you turn up for the food again? Just, just food, Th that's it, that's just, it. yes, food. I just want food. Food. Now, so what are you actually looking forward to? Now, of course, uh, the awards. Uh, I'm really excited because, as you know, uh, the British uh, Asian curry industry has been like hit with the cost of living and everything like that. So, for there to be an awards night like this to support so many different, uh, you know, cooks and restaurants and businesses across the UK, it's an amazing, amazing achievement for our community. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing like loads of loads of rec uh, restaurants be recognised. And how do you encourage this younger generation to get involved in this industry? Listen, it is uh, the industry that was built built by our forefathers, and I feel like we all need to understand the beauty behind it uh, it's so therapeutic to cook like it is so therapeutic to cook like just cut cutting vegetables and that is therapeutic so find the love for and passion for it and let's keep our cuisine alive I'm here with Dr. Rida Khan and you're at the British Curry Awards today. Are you here for the first time? I'm here for the third time third actually. Time. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's an absolute pleasure to be here and I think it's so nice to honour the uh, nearly the national food of England which is the curry and I think it's always a joy to be here. Always looking forward to the British Curry Awards. It's a prestigious event that happens in the heart of London and just to celebrate Asian food it's such a great experience. Brilliant. Well um, anything else you want to say why we should encourage the younger generation? I think it's really important to encourage anyone in the Asian food business. I think for all cultures to actually, you know, eat Asian food, enjoy Asian food and just enjoy the Asian experience. I think you only get that through food. That's how you get a taste of the culture. So it's really important. And I think to have it, to celebrate Asian food on such a big stage, um, it's great for the culture and it brings new people on board as well. Brilliant. Well, I hope you enjoy it the third time that you're here. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. And uh, what's it like for you being a British Bangladeshi in this media field? Mm. I think for me it's, it's um, beautiful to see a lot of representation in the entertainment industry. And for me, um, I'm always trying to represent my community, uh, being proud of being Bangladeshi in itself. And yeah, keep going forward with that basically. Because there's more room for us. There's so much room for people to make in the entertainment industry and we just have to keep pushing for it, pushing boundaries. And why are you here today at the British Curry Awards? Why are just, you supporting? Yeah, definitely to celebrate... Um, celebrate a curry like we have curry every day we we have family members who cook for us and things like that and it's nice to have a, a celebration of that and this is a perfect opportunity to all come together as a unity and to celebrate british curry awards what's your favorite curry slash restaurant uh i love a uh, lamb buna like i like a, spi a spicy dish as well i'm always craving wherever i go even traveling anything like that i'm always like i need a bit of a lamb buna spice and that's my favorite curry well i hope you find some lamb dish today yeah inshallah yeah i'm about to eat because i'm starving yeah. <laughs> all right no no have a good evening yeah yeah you too I'm here with Abdul Rahman from yes. Ruby Restaurant. How are you and what are you doing here today? I'm good. I'm um, here to um, pay tribute to Anna Malibai, our um, community leader who passed away. Um, he's been our mentor for all these years and um, career award was by him mm. and we're here to enjoy and then pay tribute to him. Mm. Enjoy the evening. Yeah, no, I hope you enjoy it. Have you Thanks. brought someone along with you today? Yeah, we've got all our friends there. We're um, doing the catering as well. My family's doing the catering here. So yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Try the food. Yes, I will. I'll Thank let you know you. if it's getting good. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you.
Griffiths. And what are you doing at the moment? What am I doing at the moment? Yeah. I am still on first dates, obviously, and I am a publican by trade. So I have two pubs. Um, but I'm also a huge fan of Indian food because little known fact is that I spent two years living and working in India, uh, working oh. for Taj Hotels. Oh, wow. So I am chuffed to be here today to wow. enjoy some of the finest Indian food around. So you're super excited to have a nice Indian meal, aren't you? <laughs> Listen, I moved to India because of the food, not because of the job. It's the best food in the world. Right. So why are you supporting this event today, the British Curry Awards? Well, as I say, uh, as I said to you before, I've lived in India, I've worked in India, I'm a lifelong fan of Indian food. I moved to India for the food. I could eat Indian for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Please tell me, is there somewhere I can get some sambar and idli around here tomorrow morning? <laughs> I don't know. Is this your first time here? Have you been here before? I've not been to the Curry Awards before, no, but um, I'm honoured to be invited. I'm very excited to be here. Well, I hope you enjoy your first time and don't eat too much curry either. Oh, no, well, I I will definitely intend to eat too much curry. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> My name's Dan. I'm the general manager at Copper Ceylon restaurant in Bromley. We do Sri Lankan food, cocktails. We're new to this industry, so it's a bit of a... You know what? I'm in shock. I know I should be confident, but I'm in shock that we won it just because whatever. But anyway, this was my brother-in-law's. He's over there, Heron. It was his idea to bring Sri Lanka to Bromley. He's very passionate about it. That was the main idea of it, if anything. So now, hopefully, the name's out there now. Sri Lankan restaurants will do something. So. I'm, I'm the head chef of uh, Copper Ceylon Bromley, so we won this trophy today. Yeah, we are really, really, really happy about this. We did so many hard work, so that is, we got. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. So I'm here with the members of the British Bangladeshi Caterers Association, and look at them all dressed up in their tuxedos. <laughs> How are you doing today? We're doing all right. Amazing, uh, thank amazing. you. Yeah? I'm missing an ambite, but we're doing okay. Yeah, and uh, what, what are you looking forward to? Well, obviously, I mean, uh, uh, we've been coming every single year, and this year, the main person when you come in, the greeting from Anambai is, is really very, very, very much missing from this. Except that everything else is fine, everything's going, going well. Yeah. And what about you? Well, whatever we say about Anambai will be less because he was a legend in our industry. He did so much for our industry. He, in fact, showed our community the first black tie event. So to carry his uh, legacy, Justine, his son, is doing an amazing job and we are happy to be part of it. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I am myself Adam Sharif, um, uh, General Manager of Purple Popdom. Uh, we are very happy uh, that we are announced as a winner uh, the second time for uh, Wales. And uh, we, we look forward to uh, have a good uh, uh, news just like this in the few coming future as well. And thank you very much for your support. And uh, we are very happy and we are very proud of it. Best in the southwest, Cheltenham, Prithvi. Brilliant. And what, what's the uh, what's it like winning this award? Well, it feels amazing. I wish to, you know, be able to experience it daily rather than once a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Privilege. Really, really, really honoured to, you know, it's a great, great accolades to be celebrating for. Yeah. And what are you going to do with this award? Scotland. Put it away and hope to win next year again. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the very best and enjoy okay. your dinner. Thank you. So 
Samir from, from Banaras Restaurant and the award, the category we won is uh, Fine Dining Central London and City. Brilliant. And how are you feeling after winning this award? Absolutely brilliant! Yeah. You rock. <laughs> you rock. Yeah, you rock. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, what are you going to do with this award? After this award? <laughs> uh, you have no idea, it's going to be wild. I'm I scared now. Pass away it every <laughs> month. <laughs> Shine it every month. Shine it every month. Polish the award every single month. Are you going to celebrate with your customers? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and this is the second, second year in a row, so quite next happy year with that. We'll be here as well, okay? <laughs> We're going to be here next year as well. We're going to be here next yeah. So on the count of three, give me just three cheers. One, yeah. two, three. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! I'm Jafali, the owner of Kai Kai Russian, which has just won the best Indian restaurant in the northeast of England. And what's it like for you winning this lovely award? I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, the British Curry Awards is the primary, the main awards in this industry. It is the Oscars, as they say. So for us to win it, we, we, we're okay. so proud. And it's such a big thing for Newcastle upon Tyne. And what are you going to do? Are you going to celebrate with your customers? Yeah, we're going to celebrate as a team first. There's 20 of us here. We have, a, as you can see, all these lovely ladies around. They are. We have a fully female management team. Oh, from our, our our head chef, she's a man. She, she's the head chef is a lady. The restaurant manager is a lady. The assistant restaurant manager is a lady. The marketing team, the photography. So that's very very unique for our industry. Um, so we're very very proud of having a very dynamic restaurant. We have a Michelin star chef, Alfred Prasad, who's involved. Um, he's the executive chef, sets the menu and sets all the standards in the kitchen. So we are there to follow some extreme high standards that are set um, from, from him right at the top and we follow it all the way through to the bottom. So along with that, yes, December has come in, it's a, it's a season to celebrate, so we will definitely go back to Newcastle and have big celebrations. Brilliant. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank Congratulations. I'm here with Atik Chowdhury, he's a businessman, a well-known entrepreneur and philanthropist. Hello. How are you today? You alright? Oh, amazing event today. We're at uh, the British Curry Awards, which is the Oscars of the curry industry. And this is the first year, after many, many years, that unfortunately the person who started the whole event, Enam Ali, is no longer with us. But to celebrate his life, we're here all together to support him and uh, the amount of amazing work that he's done over the years which has reached out to not just the British curry industry but the hospitality industry as a whole. And what's it like for you being here without him and you know? Well he was a very dear friend of mine and uh, he was a very good supporter especially of my father and I remember during the lockdown we actually he gave a special award for lifetime achievement yes, for my father did, yeah. so it was just an amazing uh, you know um, push that he did and and the kind of work that Enam did was uh, a lot of a lot of the stuff is is not talked about but he is a very very big supporter of the uh, industry itself with the amount of work he's done through the years and what about you how do you encourage the next cohort of younger people like yourself well I would I'm not young I'm <laughs> sort of 59 so I'm at the end of my uh, career as you'd say the golden years oh. But uh, young people out there, they should embrace technology, they should em embrace the changes that are out there, and it's a totally different market. They've got to take complication out of, uh, you know, what they're serving to their customers and really hone in on quality and price and consistency. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Ah. I'm here with these lovely glittery glamorous ladies, yes. Natalie and Zoe. Zoe, Zoe. Yeah. and what are you enjoying today? Oh, the food the is food. excellent. Yeah. The food is so nice. Really yeah, it's really lovely. Really, really good. Very nice. We're and what brings it. you to this event today? So, Laraj invited us because we go there a lot. So, we're exclusive um, invitees. Ooh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the atmosphere is brilliant. Yeah. We're loving yeah. it. It's very yeah. good. Lovely evening. Brilliant. And what are you wearing? Tell me what you're wearing. Oh, this is just a silk thread. Little number. An yeah. old number, yeah. yeah. Recycled, pre loved. Okay, very good. Mine's great, new, yeah. but it's a bit glitzy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy you. yourself. Thank you, thank so you much. very thank much. You. I'm here at the British Curry Awards red carpet with these very lovely, well-dressed individuals. How are you guys doing? We're good, thanks. What, what's your name? I'm Julia Champion. I run a talent agency called Champion Talent. And I brought along some of my clients tonight. Jay is just a friend, but uh, um, he can tell you about himself. So I'm Jay Kimiraz, otherwise everyone knows me as Mr. Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, yeah. I'm here through Jane Content Management. Um, Julia is a good friend of mine. Oh yeah, we're here to celebrate this evening. Lovely. What about yourself? And I'm actually one of Julia's clients through Champion Talent. <laughs> I'm Sheila Gordon or Sheila G and I'm a musician and a presenter. Oh, well lovely. Three very important people here today. Now firstly, tell me about your outfits. Um, mine is from Dorothy Perkins, no expense spared, actually in the sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love a good sale, we really do. And I love a bit of sparkle. <laughs> well, mine, I made it myself, and it's also a, a mix of um, embroidery designed by myself and then upcycled some old things I had in the cupboard and oh. put it together and made it look fabulous. Really yeah. lovely, brilliant. What about yourself? Mine is from the heart of Mumbai, from a place called Santa Cruz that my auntie made and custom designed for me a couple of years ago. Yeah. And what brings you here today at the British Curry Awards? I'm very lucky because lovely Jane Compton has invited me for the last few years and allowed me to bring some of my clients and uh, who doesn't love a lovely curry? Yes, that's right. <laughs> and what's your favourite curry? Well, do you know what, I like anything that's hot and spicy, um, but I just want to touch on what you were saying, I think it's, it's this year especially is very important that you know, we said we lost yeah. Inamali and we're here to celebrate his life and we're also here to celebrate all the winners and all the nominees because you know each and every one of them are um, special and unique in their own way and um, and I think it's been a, such an exceptional evening and um, you know I can't thank everybody with immense warmth. Brilliant. Well thank you very much and I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank, thank you. you very much. Hi, my name is Harry and I'm from Copper Salon. We want the best London uh, restaurant in the uh, London, best restaurant in London suburbs. And we are the first Sri Lankan restaurant to ever win a British Curry Award. So I'm really proud of that and really proud to represent the Sri Lankan community. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much and good luck and very yeah. congratulations. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Anwar Mir. Great to be here at the British Curry Awards uh, 2022. Missing the late great and Amali MBE, uh, what an inspiration he was. It's great that his children have continued uh, this event, bigger, brighter, better than ever, and hopefully it will uh, continue to be so. Um, great event, as I say. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. Can't wait to be back next year. How are you guys today? Great, how are you? Fine, thank you. Look, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a emerald green sari 
with an emerald green bag. Lovely. And you look lovely. Thank you very way. much. What about you? Well, you guys are lovely. I, I was uh, running late, so I had to do with the dress. That would be re really good. Now, tell me, what brings you here to the Curry Awards today? Well, to come mainly because to support Anambai. He's not here with us and I think we're all feeling emotional and uh, very sensitive. But again, celebrating his memory, you know, he's left a legacy. So it's been a fantastic evening so far. Earlier they showed a family video and which was lovely, the history from how he started and how he established the British Curry Awards. It's been a wonderful evening so far. What year? Same as what Magna just said, it's emotional in the same time we thought like we still have to support this, we can't let British Curry Award go, so we're here. Yeah, hi, I'm Nahid Sultana Parvin, I'm CEO of the Work Permit Cloud, WPC. And how are you finding the event today? Uh, very nice. Uh, obviously, we are upset and feel sorry for Ayana uh, Malivai, uh, but we are enjoying. Yeah, because his children uh, got the good program and uh, we are enjoying more or less. Yes, we are upset, but we are enjoying. And you're sponsoring the event today? Yes, we are sponsoring. WPC is a sponsor for today's event. We've sponsored the event for so long. We're like, at Just Eat, we always support the industry. And like we said, curry is one of our most popular cuisines. So it's actually a, it's a real honour for us to sponsor the British Curry Awards. Do you know what? I think this is so important, so important for everybody to be recognised. Everybody does a fantastic job and we've had a, the last two years of a really difficult time. So it's really important that we actually celebrate some successes together. It means a lot because in the first year getting a curry award, British Curry Awards, it means a lot, quite a lot. No, no words to describe it. Um, it's amazing. We didn't expect to win it. Totally shocked. I can't believe it. So excited. Amazing. Yeah, th this is this is the biggest award, and to win the biggest award just after two years is amazing. We dreamt about winning this, but never thought we would do it. Is amazing. So happy about it. The whole team is excited. We're going to party all night. Well, it feels really great. It's hard to put it into words because this is our first award in England. The British Curry Awards, one of the prestigious awards, and it feels really great to come from Scotland and represent the Scottish curry industry on um, on this level. And uh, to win this award means a lot for me and uh, for our Scottish friends, for my customers, and uh, everybody who's been involved in the business. And I, I feel proud to come from Scotland and win this Curry Oscar for Scotland. Absolutely fantastic, elated, um, off the top of the world. Uh, Champagne Group bags another award. It's all the hard work that the team and all the, uh, the, the manage, management have put in. It's been a difficult time since COVID, which everybody knows and to be on this prestige stage is immense proud. But one of the things that we have to highlight is Enambay's work and his legacy that he's left behind. Uh, without him, we wouldn't be here. And without him, this industry wouldn't be as highlighted. We'd really like to say a big thank you to the whole team at Calcutta Club. 
and all the guests that have supported us, without whom none of this would be possible. It's really, really great to be appreciated for what we do. Very good. Oh, it's so important to be recognised by the British Curry Awards. Everything we're doing is, is right and people love what we're about. Come back, ladies. Thank you. Yeah, this is great and sad too because Enamba is not with us anymore. Uh, we greatly miss him tonight. Uh, the bo the, both of the boys and Justin done really well. Another great evening. Uh, British Curry Award uh, will carry on and we will keep supporting British Curry Award. It's a great, great achievement and it's good to start the history because it's the first Diners' Choice Award in 2022, so really proud about that. We feel really good, so we're really honoured. Uh, this is our second time, so, um, the shortlisted, so we would be very happy if we could win that, that one. But still we're happy because this British curry is like a rush curry. So we've had a wonderful time today at the British Curry Awards in association with Just Eat and many, many other great sponsors. As you can see, it's been a really very busy event with lots of celebrities, guests, award winners from very prestigious restaurants around the country. And we are here at the Battersea Evolution today. We've had a really great night of entertainment, dinner and dance. So until next time, it's Tamana Mia for Talk.